Hi, my name is Ben Blythe with the Phoenix Society of Historical Swordsmanship. I'm Jay with the Phoenix Society of Historical Swordsmanship. And we're out here in the beautiful outdoors so we don't risk exposing each other to any COVID viruses that we might have. And we'd like to show you three quick plays with the axe, the pole axe, yeah. uh, from Jouet de Hache. Uh, so first off, I'm going to start off with uh, the basic one, which is if Jay is doing an overhead swing at me and I want to deflect that shot, he comes in with a quick cut, step forward my left leg, deflect it, and then thrust. There's lots of ways you can do this. You can do it without the step, for example, and you can do it while stepping back as well. He's really aggressive. All of these plays are designed to be in armor and so need to be affected with a great deal of force. So the next one is a high sweep with the back end of the axe. He attacks me. I receive it on the thrust here. I disengage and I sweep it up through his arms like that, trying to make him drop it. Ideally, it should hit him at the wrist there and sweep it up out of his hands. How much force are you doing this with? Oh, as much as you can, hockey player. So the next one is, if, if uh, you want to counter it, you just do it to them first, right? So you go, not giving them time to affect the swing. So if I swing at you and you want to, and I want to counter you at this, yeah, I would, and, and then you do it. I see, yeah. The, my personal favorite, which I've actually been able to get done in fighting, is called the parry with the demi hash. Jay comes in for a cut, I block with the demi hash, step in. As I step in, my left leg goes behind his right leg, and then I simply sweep. So let's go from the other side. Yep. Show the position of the. Uh, Why don't you do it to me? Okay. So, so I block, or I cut, excuse me. Jay blocks. Oh. My name is Ben. I'm Jet, and we're with the Phoenix Society of Historical Swordsmanship. Thanks for watching.